Hello everybody, it's another video update. Um, today was a interesting day. Um, for some odd reason I had an urge to dye my hair back purple, which I've not done probably in about 10 years. I loved it back then. I still love it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave it because, you know, modern society and all their stupid preconceptions, they tend to not look kindly upon creative individuals and tend to stomp individuality when it comes to something like this. But hey, you know, I have a family, so you got to do what you got to do. So, whatever. But anyway, in honor of Halloween, I took the plunge and dyed my hair back to the color that I prefer the most. Um... This morning, I took the kids into town. There was a Halloween party event type thing with the city. And um, both my kids did quite well, surprisingly and happily. Uh, my daughter won second place in the costume contest, so I was proud of her. Um, being a Halloween queen following in the footsteps of her mother, of course, that would make any Halloween-loving mother proud. Um, <laughs> But she uh, she kept grinning really big, like, mm, to the judges the entire time they were looking at her age group. So they <laughs> they kept looking at her and smiling. So I believe her happy smile is what helped her win that and her adorable outfit, which I will show a picture of. Um, but anyway, after that, my neighbors had a Halloween party. And so we came back home and went to that and... Just now got back home. I'm tired because I've been running up and down probably 20 some stairs over and over all night. There was well over 50 kids there plus some adults. Nice event. Family friendly for the most part. I miss the days of spending Halloween with friends my age and going to concerts and parties and you know fun stuff like that but hey you know <sighs> responsibilities and being a parent some of those stuff kind of get thrown to the side every now and then but that's okay I still got to celebrate Halloween and I'm not done yet <laughs> okay I've had just a little bit too much sugar and not enough caffeine I'm um I'm getting a little loopy from the sleep and the amount of sugar in my system I hardly ever eat sugary candy junk whatsoever it, it <laughs> I had cupcakes and chocolate and enough candy tonight to last me until next year. So yeah. But in other news, um that job that I was supposed to start, unfortunately I didn't get to do it. The lady contacted me and she was advised to hold off on hiring any additional employees temporarily. And so for now I'm kind of I guess you could say floating in a waiting list. Um, but that's okay, because all it's done is just push me a little bit harder to take more time to focus on my photography business and try to work with that more instead of still, as always, doing part-time. I, I hope to eventually be full-time, but time is just so limited right now with both of my kids. They're uh, three years old and five years old, and my husband's working third shift, 12-hour jobs, so yeah. Time is quite limited, but it's okay because, you know, everything happens for a reason and one of these days I'll get to where I want to be. But anyway, leave you with uh, my hair in the light so you can see how uh, purple, my camera's not doing it justice, it's kind of changing the color. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how well that you can tell. By the way, I've still got my... Sorry, Halloween costume on here. My big old sleeves and my uh, medieval dress, kind of doing a witch gypsy thing. Yeah, and as you see, the purple hair dye, it didn't do too well on my forehead. But, oh well. It's that semi permanent stuff, so it'll probably take me five or six washes and it'll be out. Hmm. Okay. I think I've done enough rambling. You guys are probably quite bored and. Hopefully entertained, <laughs> at least, not laughing at me too much. I guess I'm just kind of, I don't know, lonely tonight. A lot of my friends are out at these big parties. There was a zombie walk in Bowling Green I wanted to go to really bad, but I couldn't. Um, I had done promise my neighbor I would come to their party, and I don't want to be rude and, you know, not keep my word. Um, but also... 
because safety reasons. As awesome as a zombie walk was going to be, the kids, even though it was an all-ages thing, I was just kind of afraid with my husband at work that somebody would end up, you know, bothering us with me being female, which is a stupid fear, I guess, but I'd rather be paranoid than for me to go and risk my kids getting hurt. Because, you know, if something did go wrong and I tried to contact the police, it's not going to go too well considering, you know, hey, I just got touched and molested and attacked by some zombie-dressed guy. Yeah, okay, there's like hundreds of zombies tonight, so <laughs> I don't think the cops would have had much luck and neither would have I. So, oh well. Hopefully, where they said first annual zombie walk, this won't be the only one. So, if I'm lucky, they'll do it again. And I'll go next time. So no worries. But anyway, enough rambling. I need some sleep. So yeah. I hope you guys are having an awesome Halloween, well, pre-Halloween weekend. And have all, all kinds of plans for Halloween coming up. So, good night.